Welcome back, my lads, to Friday 13th YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the new album by Jamin's very own Velvet Viper. They're about to release a new album called Nothing Compares to Metal. It's released on the 3rd, 21st of July 2023 on Massacre Records. The band was formed by Jutta Weinhold, who's a fantastic female singer. She's very powerful, reminds me very much of Ronnie James Dio, who recorded their first single back in 1974. Jutta was also involved with the band Zed Yago, a brilliant band from Germany, who released two albums from Over Yonder back in 1988, released on Steamham Records, and the second album was called Pilgrimage, released for a major label. Sadly, Jutta left the band to form Velvet Viper. They had released their first album, which was self-titled back in 1990. This was pretty much, would have been the third Zed Yago album. It was a fantastic debut album for Velvet Viper. Musically, they remind me of Judas Priest, Dio, and Except. Now, Velvet Viper have released five albums to date. The first album was released in 1990, which was self-titled. This was followed by The Fourth Quest of Fantasy in 1992, followed by Free Spice Fairman back in 2018, The Pearl Man is Holding a Broken Heart in 2019, and Cosmic Healer in 2021. Also, the first two Zed Yager albums, From Over Yonder and Pilgrimage, were re-released on Massacre Records and remastered. They sound fantastic, so if you haven't heard the remastered versions, check them out, Metalheads. Light like Dio, Velvet Viper are very similar in style of music, so if you're a fan of Dio's music, you're really going to like Velvet Viper. There are some more up-tempo songs for Velvet Viper, a little bit more double bass drumming, but just as vocals are extremely strong, she's a fantastic singer and certainly underrated. And so the current lineup for this band is Jutta Weinhold on vocals. We'd have Holger Max on guitar. Now, Holger's been with the band for many years. We'd have Jonas Morris Mollers on bass guitar and Mika Forum on drum. So the album cover is interesting. The album's called Nothing Compares to Metal. It's a very interesting cover. It's got a rattlesnake, and I'm not sure what the connection is between the two. So this album consists of 11 songs. I'm going to tell you what the song titles are for this album. We have Nothing Compares to Metal, the title track. We'd have Visible Danger, Ud van der Berg, Skuller. Sorry if I've misspelled this wrong, it's a German word. We'd have Blood on the Moon, Speak Truth to Power, Sorcerer's Apprentice, Heroic Hearts. We'd have Rise from the Fallen, The Fourth Part, New World Child, and S. Comet D. Zeet. Looking at the band's biography for this new album, there seems to be two songs missing on the vinyl. So we've got New World Child and we've got Des Comet DZ, which are missing from the vinyl version. So if you're going to buy this, buy it on CD. I don't know why they've done this, but it's very strange. The album was produced by the band and the mastering and mixing was done by Michael Hurt, who was also being the drummer for Metallium. And the songs are roughly based around classical, poetic and mythical themes. And the music was composed by Jutta and Holger. Now, I have to say the production on this album is a lot stronger than the last album, which was called The Cosmic Heat. Opening track is the title track. This is a pretty good song, pretty solid. It's got some double bass drumming. It's a bit of a slap in the face song. Jutta's vocals are fantastic. Like I said, she does remind me of Dio. She also reminds me of Leather Leon, who was once with Dave Chastain Band. The song kind of has that Judas Priest, Saxon and Except style all rolled into one with the Dio sort of vocals and melody hooks. But it's a fantastic opening song. It's the title track. It's called Nothing Compares to Metal. Next song is called Invisible Danger. This at the beginning kind of reminds me of Except, especially with the vocal choirs. And the second song, like I said, is called Invisible Danger. I really like this song because I think the chorus is a fantastic chorus. It's very powerful, very melodic, pretty fast in places, but just as vocals are fantastic. The guitar playing and rhythm section is also great. It's a fantastic, solid song. The next song is called Uda van der Vee Scala. Like I said before, this kind of reminds me at the beginning of Judas Priest Nightcrawler. It's very much deal sounding. It's a very good song, very solid production. Like I said, Jutta is a brilliant singer. This song also gets going towards the middle part of the song. A little bit more upbeat than Dio usually does, but it's still very much inspired by Dio. I guess you could also say it as a little bit of Black Sabbath with Dio or even Heaven and Hell. The next song is called Blood on the Moon. This is very much influenced by Native American, especially the music. The album has some pretty much upbeat songs as well as mid-tempo songs. So if you're a fan of Judas Priest or Dio or even Accept, this is a great album for you. I'm going to give it four out of five. And the album's called Com Nothing Compared to Metal. This is released on the 21st of July of 2023 on Massacre Records. 
I wish the band all the best. Like I say, Jutta is a fantastic singer. She's definitely underrated. And if you're a fan of Leather Leon or Dio, please check out her vocals. The music's really, really good. So fans of Dio, check this one out, guys. Thanks for watching. Be safe.